is what it is it is yo girl Kelly. yes i'm Kelly dixon i'm the drama like prison wife i'm the legally blind artist that is rapid at painting for justice hoping to see justice before it all face to black yes it's your girl Kelly. anyway sitting here y'all seen my last video so y'all know your girl ain't feeling too you know i'm feeling a little down but girl, I came across Shantia Deja. She just released a video just an hour ago. And baby, just what I needed. Medicine for the soul. What's up, y'all? It's your girl Shantia. And, and I'm, I'm back, back with, with another, another banger. Another, another word. word. Another yes. Word. I got a word for y'all today. And get your tickets. So listen, y'all. I'm super, super excited. I want to go to her summit that she's having in Georgia. But girl, the price is a little too steep for me. Because I want to go with money by us traveling. It would be a whole vacation thing just in time for our birthdays. But you got to kind of buy the tickets now. And I ain't got the funds now. So, girl. So, she says she about to raise her prices after this weekend. So, hopefully I can still afford to go. But let's get into the video. For everyone who has already purchased tickets, y'all, they've been So, let's get straight into this word, y'all. So, um, the can title of this it? video is creativity comes in uncertainty creativity comes in uncertainty mm. okay and uncertain so the scripture times. that god led me to is isaiah 41 10 and it says don't be afraid for i am with you don't yes. be discouraged for i am your god i will strengthen you and help you i will hold you up with my victorious right hand okay and so listen um mm. how god brought me to this topic um was me just sitting down talking to God and thinking about all of the times that I was in a season where I didn't know what was my next I didn't know what I was supposed to be doing okay I was very uncomfortable I was very mm. uncertain but in those moments where I was uncertain in different areas of my life and that's feeling like where I'm at I am now I'm definitely not comfortable with working 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 <sighs> being depleted from working and getting back up and working no baby I'm not happy there i'm not happy with going to a job not utilizing my gifts my purpose my nothing but just uh, making me more tired and breaking down my carpal tunnel and all that other stuff my back i'm not happy with that girl no were the exact moments that god took and transformed and used it to birth mm. something new within me okay and so um wow. just this past week i was talking to one of my closest friends okay and if you my friends like in my friend group you can't settle like i will not allow you to settle i will stay and ride your behind, real friends okay, push friends to your next. like i will not allow you to settle and, and they so I support was them when they down one of my friends and, and um, help them up when a job down. that she was at she was been supposed to leave the job okay God you heard already her. told me i told her she knows but she's scared to leave the job because she is uncertain of what's to come okay she's uncertain that okay if i take this leap of faith if and that's another thing for me i desperately need to leave this job but the job they know to get you hooked to a job to where you serve the job more than your purpose in life like um What's his name? Jordan, uh, chosen one always says that the job pays you to forget about your dreams and your boss would never pay you to be their neighbor. Like it's like giving you just enough to keep you there, but not giving you enough to rise above, you know. Um, so when you want to leave a job so desperately, which I'm I'm in that point again, I started my life all over in 2010 was it 2010? No, it was 2013. My whole life started over. Like I literally fell to the bottom and had to get back up. So here it is. Are you kidding me? It's exactly 10 years. It's 2023. And I feel like my life is all the way. So, so maybe that's what it is. The reset button has hit on my life. Because I literally had to start all the way over in 2013. And now here we are 10 years later. That could be what it is. That might be it. But you are... I went through this with my job at the Super Center. You're holding on. You're like, dang, I got these benefits, this, this, and that. So now the job that I'm tied to, it's not getting no easier for me right now. Is 
somewhat comfortable y'all know i have all these different ailments and stuff like that but the one thing i need from the job is my insurance my insurance i have this eye that i need a transplant a cornea transplant and i need the insurance to do the cornea transplant you know so damn it's like i always have to either surpass where i am or stay where i am because i can't just go you go to a different job you got to start over they don't offer you benefits in the door you know so and then a lot i don't know but that's one of those things that kind of keep you there like how she's saying her friend is scared to move past that job but i can understand that girl I take this rest and I leave this job, you know, like, well, my next job pay me what I make now hmm. or this or that and X, Y, and Z. And so yes. she's scared to start over again. My God, it come is on, scary. She's scared to start over again. And I knew that this testimony was not just for her, but this is also for somebody for else too. Too, who is scared to start over again. Yeah. But we all have to go through this. Start over again. We all have to go through again, that season where and again we have to lose it all in order to gain the right things, in order to gain what God truly has for us, okay? Mm. And so as I was talking to her, I was just saying how, like, when you put yourself in uncomfortable situations and you become obedient to what God is telling you, number one, God is always going to honor your obedience. Number two, there's no way that he's going to allow you to go without. And number three, when you become he uncertain and uncomfortable, now you begin to work your brain. Now you begin to work the places and the spaces that have been dead for years. And so now your brain begins to operate. Well, wait, okay, what am I good at? Okay, I do have this business that I've been doing on the side. Maybe I can step fully into it. And you never know. That could be the thing that God uses you, uses to launch you or propel you into your wow. next. And now you was first worrying about money, but now your business is actually making more money than you could have ever made, you know, at your job. And so I was just talking to her about how creativity comes in uncertainty. And so some of y'all might be stuck and you might not creativity have the creative juices flowing. Creativity comes you in uncertainty. Ideas, you certainty. Now that is exactly how my project reached the world came about um i was in a very uncertain time um husband going to prison i ain't got two dimes to rub together um i don't know how i'm gonna get him home i don't know how we're gonna you know do this or do that and at that time we just literally just had my daughter so i didn't even know how i was gonna raise her by myself but grace be to god i he he, he gave me everything I needed to raise my child alone, you know? So, um, I'm on the other side. I made it through. Girl, I made it through. But, um, the thing is, getting sidetracked by watching the plane fly over here. That creativity to start that, to make hand-painted t-shirts, to make my own demo and cd about the situation and my whole marketing plan or scheme or whatever you want to call it all of that came out of being in a spot with no resources nowhere to turn nobody to go to nobody offering help unless you got a bag full of money somewhere um all of that came that creativity was spawned spawned off of what i was going through and didn't know where to turn like it's certain places not every area but certain places in your life that might be dead and stuck and stagnant oh, and that's because you have yet to take all places in my life feel like that for me my family life my my housing life my work life my all parts of my life feel stagnant and stuck that risk and yet to jump okay mm. Wayfair's got just what you need for your home 